I'm Jenny Little and I am a diagnostic medical sonographer and I graduated in May of 2008. I chose to come to Bryan LGH College of Health Sciences for the reasonable tuition and the beautiful campus and it's in Lincoln, Nebraska, which is my hometown. Um, another reason why I chose Bryan LGH College of Health Sciences was for the small class size. It was very personal. Julie was a fabulous instructor. So the sonographer has to be that programmed machine that knows what it's looking for and gets all the pictures that they have to get. And in order to do that, they use this little thing called a transducer. And the transducer sends sound waves into the body. They bounce off of various organs and then travel back up to the transducer to form the picture. The program itself is about a year and a half in length. Prerequisites for the program are usually about a year in requirement, and those include algebra, anatomy, physiology, one and two, and then some form of physics. In this program, you learn so much about so many different body parts, but it's, it's an amazing job. And what I like about it is there's variation in your day. You'll be scanning maybe a baby at, at 10 o'clock and a renal at 8 o'clock and a uh, thyroid at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So you have a variety of exams to do. And that's what's kind of neat about our program is that we do have skills labs. So as you're learning what an organ's supposed to look like, then you can go off to skills lab and learn how to scan it and see what it's supposed to look like. And then go off to clinical and see what it's supposed to look like when it's not normal, <laughs> when, it's, when it's pathology is present. School was challenging, but skills lab helped out a lot with learning. We would reference everyday life into things that we were learning, uh, such as part of the liver looks like a Dorito chip and my dog has a main lobar fissure. What? Ha, ha, ha.